I come your way once again with Pasco Made Easy with Senana. We are looking at core mathematics. We are looking at how we can solve some past questions for Wasi. And we are considering algebraic expressions. So if you are learning anything on algebraic expressions, this is the right video for you. It will help you to be able to revise. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click on the notification bell so that you can get all videos on time. Now let's consider the question. So the question is asking us to simplify. So it's an expression x plus 1 over x plus 2 all over x squared minus 1. So let's consider how we can solve this question. So basically in this question, we've been given an expression which has x plus 1 over x plus 2 and then it is divided by x squared minus 1. So we can rewrite this expression as s plus 1 over x plus 2, right? All this divided by x squared minus 1, right? So that it becomes easier for you to do the simplification. So when we consider the left-hand side of the simplification or the expression, we realize that we can decide to go through the process of using an LCM. It's just like having a fraction that you want to simplify. So here you realize that the LCM for this fraction should be x. Then in that case, we would have x multiplying x here, which gives us x squared. Right here, we would have plus 1. And then over here, we would have plus 2x. And then divided by what we consider this side, we realize that we have the difference of two squares again. So you see that mostly with simplifications, we must use the difference of two squares. So this can be written as s squared minus one squared. So we can have s squared plus two x plus one all over x divided by this will be x minus one and then we have s plus one right so we have x minus one and then we have x plus one here so once we have this we are going to look at how we can rewrite the top part of the equation with a, a quadratic as we can see clearly to look like the difference of two squares or have the factors out right so the coefficient of the x squared which is one using the calculator you go to mode and then you go to the equations which is five and then you go to the one that looks like the quadratic equation and the coefficient of the x is x squared is one right so we have the coefficient of the x squared to be one and then we have that of the x to be two right so that of the x should be two and then we have that of the constant to be one right so the constant as well is one then once we are able to put in all these values, we should be able to get the value of x to be negative 1, right? So we have x is equal to negative 1. So as I said, if you want to write this as a factor, it should be x plus 1, right? So you move it across the equal to sign to become x plus 1. So that implies that our top part of the equation is a repeated root, which has two equations, x plus 1 and then x plus 1 all over x right and this side is x minus 1 x plus 1 and that is also all over 1 so we can rewrite this as x plus 1 s plus 1 all over x multiplying 1 all over x minus 1 s plus 1 so we see that because of multiplication this one can cancel this and then when we multiply we have x plus 1 at the top all over x into bracket x minus 1. So the most important thing here is to ensure that when we look at the difference of two squares, we express them as the difference of two squares we have here, x minus 1, x plus 1. And then anytime you have a quadratic, you must ensure you simplify the quadratic and write them in their factors, so as we've written here. So you can either use the calculator or use the factoring method 
which will be a much more longer process but then all we need is just the factors so we need the x plus one and then the x plus one so once we simplify we can't do any simplification further here so we have x plus one all over the expression x multiplying the expression s minus one remember to like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget that anytime you find a question on algebraic expression you just take your time and simplify it see you soon